Hello friends. So welcome to our YouTube channel. And today we are going to discuss about NATA 2021 General Aptitude Session. Okay. So we can solve different questions related to Aptitude Session. Okay. So we are going to discuss about NATA 2021 General Aptitude Question Paper Solving. And this is presently by Mr. Pranada, General Aptitude Trainer, Ignite. So coming to the first question, which of the following solids may not be generated by revolving a planar surface along an axis? We have options, cylinder, cone, prism, and sphere. Here we can see that cylinder, cone, prism, and sphere are of these shapes. And common property among this cylinder, cone, and the sphere because all have curved surfaces. So, if we consider an axis and if we just revolve a planar surface along the axis, then we can generate this cylinder, then this cone, and the sphere, but not the prism. In the case of prism, there is no curved surfaces. Okay, so this is the odd one and it cannot be generated by revolving a planar surface along an axis. So, the correct answer is option C, that is prism. Okay. Now we can move on to the next question. This question is asked from the section series, okay, of the general aptitude section. So, look carefully at the sequence of arrows to find the pattern. Which arrow replaces the question mark? Okay. So, we have to identify which figure will be replaced in this question mark or instead of this question mark, we have to place an option from these four options. Okay. So, the direction of arrows are in clockwise direction. These arrows are moving clockwise direction or moving rightwards. Then, the second section is moving downwards. This is uh, moving towards right side, then downside, then the next will be towards left side. Yes, for sure. So, option B will be the right answer. Okay. In the clockwise direction, we can identify it like that. Now, moving to the next question. It is from Cubes and I. And here we have to identify which will be the suitable unfolded image of the given box. Okay. We have to consider which of the shapes are nearer to each other. And is it perpendicular to each other or is it in line to each other? We have to think about it. So, in option A, this rectangular section and square sections are there, but it is seen perpendicular to each other. But in the given box, it is not like that. So, that option can be neglected. Then the next one, the square and rectangle is in line, but the problem is this triangle shape. Okay, it is inverted in the given box but here it is just opposite to that okay and the base is seen here but the vertex must be seen in the in this line okay here it is inverted so coming to option c here also square and rectangle are perpendicular to each other which is not possible according to the given box so it can be also neglected. Then coming to option D, the square and the rectangle are in right position and the inverted triangle is seen clearly. Okay, so option D is the right answer. Now coming to the next question, it is from orthographic project C section and we have to identify the correct side view for the given 3D volume. So here we have an arrow and uh, along this direction we can see this gray color, then white color, gray color, wine color, white color. Okay, so here we have slope, and here also there is slope. So these slopes are not seen in option A, B, and D, but it is clearly seen in option C that there is slope here and here. Okay, and alternating colors are also the that is gray, white, gray, white. So option C will be the right answer. Okay. 
Now we can discuss about next orthographic progression course, which will be the view from the given option along this direction of the arrow mark. Here we have an inverted T session. Then left side there is a rectangle and here also there, there will be a rectangle. Then this extended portion will be also seen in this view, isn't it? So the thing we have to identify is that these two sections or these two extensions will be at the same height. Okay. So option A can be neglected. Okay. And we have to identify that. Uh, the length of this T section is not at all so long. Okay, so option B can be neglected. Then, in the case of C, there is no T section, but in the case of option D, there is T section, and the height or the level of these two rectangular extensions are same. Okay, so option D will be the right answer. Now, coming to the next question. Here also we have a 3D uh, object and we have to identify the view along the direction of this arrow. So we have a trapezium on the base. Then on the left side there will be a gray color and right side there will, there will be a gray color. And in the middle here there is a white portion and it is slanted. It can be seen uh, seen uh, just a small uh, seen as uh, just a small square. As we uh, look through this direction, so here we have that type of option, and in the uh, top there is a gray color, yes, and here we have a white color on the right side. So this section is okay. Option B, C, and D are not suitable for this 3D object. So option A is the right answer. Okay. So, we can discuss about the next question below. Can pass through the cutout panel. So, here we have a cutout panel and there is a hole in it. And through that space, which composition, 3D composition can be passed? Okay, that is the question. So, we have A, B, C, D options. So, we have to identify each 3D object. Okay, and we have to check whether it passed through this hall or not. Okay, so according to option A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 square pieces are there at the base. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 spaces for squares are there. So, this cannot be included in it, okay, exactly like this shape. It cannot be passed through this space. And in the case of B also, there is no way to pass through this because there will be uh, some restrictions or obstacle due to this shape, okay. Then we have option C and it is also uh, feeling difficulty to pass through this space or this fault okay so because here we have one two three four five six okay six spaces are the in the base but it is not suitable due to this extension but in the case of option d there is a possibility to enter into this space so we have to opt option d okay now coming to next question here we have a side view and we have to identify the 3d shape according to the side view so we have to look at this step okay and just we have to match the shape among these options okay so option d will not be like this option c will not be like this the shape must be like this but in case of option b it is suitable because this gray colored shape okay this thing one two three 
this surface is seen here okay and this white portion is seen like this okay so option b will be the right answer okay now coming to next question here we have to count the total number of squares and this was just a dire question from what we have uh, discussed in different regular and crash batches so we are proud to say that this question was directly asked so there is an easy way to find the number of squares in this instead of counting each and every square in this session we have a method okay since it is a symmetric uh, square matrix here we have one two three four four columns are there and four rows are there and we can just number it then we can add one square plus two square plus three square plus four square that is one plus four plus nine plus sixteen that's equal to what thirty and along with this thirty we can add ten also from where we will get this ten here there is two square, uh, extra squares okay and inside that one two three four and this outer triangle consists of five outer square okay not triangle outer square here we have five squares here also we will have five squares so five into two ten so along with this 30 we have to add 10 so 30 plus 10 that is 40 40 squares will be this now coming to next question how many blocks make the shape below so we have to count how many uh, blocks or cubes are the in the figure so one two three four five okay this column contains five squares five cubes so these all are identical these three sections are identical so five into three fifteen okay fifteen box uh, blocks or boxes are okay then here it is 16 then 17 18 19 20 21 22 then 23 24 25 then this 26 okay it's easy now coming to the next question the figure below shows an unfolded pattern of a die if four such identical dies are stocked one on top of another as shown on the right with what is the sum of the numbers appearing on the faces which are parallel to the ground okay so this question is very easy actually okay it is indirectly asked but we have method we have a general method okay and that method is the alternative shapes will be opposite to each other so this one dot will be opposite to this five dots then four dots will be opposite to this three dots then two dots will be opposite to this six dots okay and we know this thing okay and we studied in the different uh, batches that is in crash batch and regular batch which is conducting regularly okay so here a and c will be opposite then B and D will be opposite. Then E and F will be opposite. These all opposite things are alternative. Okay. The positions are alternating. So we can identify that 1 will be opposite to this 5, 4 will be opposite to 3, and 2 will be opposite to 6. Okay. We have to identify or we have to count or we have to sum up the numbers appearing on the faces which are parallel to the ground that means parallel to the ground means this bottom uh, if we take the cube at the bottom okay then we have two surfaces which are parallel to the ground this base and this top then coming to the next cube it also have a base and top then here also there is a base and top here also there will be base and top so we can identify the things okay we have we can identify the number of dots which is appearing at the bottom and top of the each cube okay so there is a way for finding it 
okay the main way is like this opposite opposite things will be alternating will be in alternating positions okay so uh here one and two are there one and two okay one will be opposite to five so in the back side there will be five then two will be opposite to six so this side will be six so the remaining portions will be four and three it will be opposite and it will be at the base and top so four and three is identified okay so four and three will be parallel to the ground that's okay then coming to next thing next cube here three and six are given so opposite of 3 there will be 4, opposite of 6 there will be 2. So the remaining things are 1 and 5. So that will be at the bottom and top. So it's okay. Then coming to next cube. Here there is 4 and 5. 4 will be opposite to 3 and 5 will be opposite to 1. So the remaining things are 2 and 6. Okay, it will be at the bottom and top of that particular cube. Then we have the next cube. Here it is given that uh, there is 5 and which is the opposite number of 5. Here there is 1. So at the top there is 5 and at the bottom of this cube there will be 1. It's for sure. So adding all these that is 4 plus 3 of the base, base cube. Then 5 plus 1 of this of this cube okay then 6 plus 2 of the corresponding cube and that 1 plus 5 at the top okay so adding all these we have 27 okay okay is it okay now we have the next question if p and q are combined to form solid r there will be a new solid x okay which is generated due to the intersection of p and q as represented in the highlighted color that is in rose color or pink color how many surfaces does this new solid have okay assume p and q are identical regular hexagons with six sides okay so we have an intersected solid x and we have options like six sides eight sides ten sides and twelve sides if we count properly these surfaces, we will have 10 sides. Okay. It can be identified from this figure itself. We have to count the surfaces and find the answer. Okay. Our pearls of ignite are students. In J paper 2, 2021, 2020, 2019, all the students were good in this course so we are proud to say that we will make more students achieve this kind of high results each and every part of ignite are proud of our students they followed our pattern they trusted us and they scored well so we are hoping for more students to achieve this result so thank you for watching, let's see in the next video.